Hey guys, welcome back to the 41st Legion. Uh, today, I got something finally. I mean, I thought this guy was an absolute myth and like didn't exist. I heard rumors that there was an Anakin, but I mean, I, I really didn't think he ever existed because, you know, he just disappeared. But today, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Star Wars Legion Anakin Skywalker. Told you, he's a myth. I... He's no longer a myth. I confirmed it. I have the box now. It only took forever for it to get here. Well, actually, it, yeah, it took forever to get here because, you know, it probably fell into the ocean somewhere. But he is the commander for the Republic. And it's in that new slim box for, like, the commanders and operatives. Which I think looks really good because it's not sticking out, like, that far. Go ahead and pop this tape off. The back of the box. There we go. What I think I'm going to do, because I'm pretty sure there's two heads in here, is I'm going to take my other Obi Wan that I have and put Anakin's head on it, so I can have a General Skywalker instead of just a Anakin. Let's go ahead and get this open. Comes in that hard thing, and this is uh, on a sprue. So a new hard plastic. Back in there. Go ahead and look at the components. So it's on that new white paper because the old one used to be on like that black. I think the white paper looks. I mean, I like it. So here's Anakin Skywalker. Shows you the different versions that you can put together. Blocking Anakin and like force push Anakin. I'm probably gonna go with the force push. I don't really like the block. Uh, go with the components. Credits. Back here you get a poster. Pretty much. Shows off some of the new keywords. Well, I guess they're not newer, but they're. He has a flaw card. You get one miniature Republic base token. Yeah, you almost get enough for two Anakins. You just need two more legs. Huh. Because you get two torsos and four arms and two heads. You just need two more legs and you got another model. Huh. Would you look at that? But here, let me get this. Here's a look at the heads. Uh, is there a difference? I'm not quite sure if I really see a difference between the two heads. I'm going to open this back up, see if there's one here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> and then you get the arm with the lightsaber. The metal arm it looks really good. His other hand. Because the one hand, the one hand is gripping the other. There we go. Then his torso. And his two legs. If he had two more, you'd have a whole other model. Uh, and then we can go ahead and look at the tokens. And his cards. Okay, you get a lot of suppression tokens. You get three and a three suppression token because he has a high courage value and almost every single one of his command cards give him a suppression. He's got three wounds. Well, you get a three wound and two one wounds, four surge, an aim, a dodge, and a standby, and your proof of purchase. 
and you get your commander token for the Republic. And then let's look at his command card first. Anakin Skywalker is commander for 160 points. He has two force, two training. He's got jump on and dim so mastery. It's while defending. If you spend a dodge token, you gain surge to defense. If at least one hit or crit result was canceled, the attacker suffers suffers one wound. He has a flaw card, which is this yellow one. I'll show you later. Uh, he has immune to pierce, and then he is tempted, so he can equip like force choke, and what other dark side? There's some other ones, but uh, if they ever come out with any new dark side upgrades, he can still use them. His attack is five red dice. It's impact three and pierce three, and it's melee. He's six health, three courage, red defense, and speed two. This tells you. Impact and pierces on the back. To be honest, I almost think you could get rid of his flaw card altogether because I feel like his flaw is on all three of his command cards. It's not a story the Jedi would tell. Is his flaw card? Is you may play this card. So this is your opponent playing it. Uh, your opponent may play this card at the start of the command phase if there's an enemy Skywalker with at least one suppression token. That enemy cannot, that enemy Anakin Skywalker cannot be issued in order, which is very debilitary, debilitating for a Jedi, because you know, almost every, all of his command cards give an order to him. So, and your Jedi, you always want to have an order on. Uh, but like I said, I feel like his command cards aren't that great, and they also have negatives to him. His one pip. Is this is where the fun begins? And is a permanent Anakin Skywalker gains outmaneuver and relentless at the end of his activation. If he was not the first friendly unit to activate during the current round, he gains one suppression. See, that's what I mean. Every single one of his cards have. If he doesn't do exactly what it says, he gains a suppression token. And then it doubles down with this, so he can't get an order. So relentless lets him move when he attacks, and then. Outmaneuver. Pretty sure. So you can spend dodges to cancel crits. And it gives an order to Anakin. And he gets the, since it's permanent, he gets to keep it the whole game. Anakin gets stronger throughout the entire game, though. So by if you play all three of his cards, round four, he is the most well, round three, he's the most powerful. You play all three. His two pip is you underestimate my power. And it gives an order to only Anakin. And it's permanent. Anakin gains Surge to Crit and Master of the Force 1. At the end of his activation, if he did not perform an attack, he gains one Suppression Token. So, he is able to get Master of the Force and Surge to Crit. The Surge to Crit is really good if you're wanting to use them for, like, an Exemplar battery, but... And I guess it is good for him to attack too, but it's Anakin here. And it's his three pip is Hero of the Clone Wars. It's Anakin Skywalker and two units. Uh, permanent Anakin Skywalker gains Exemplar, because there's the Exemplar, and Reliable 2. At the end of his activation, if he is not at range 1 to 2 of friendly units, he gains one Suppression Token. I would say this is probably his best card in terms of... It doesn't do as much damage, and I feel like this is a round one play for Anakin, because since he has Exemplar, and they just did that clone nerf, getting that reliable too, every single round from round one means the clones that he is with can, well actually any unit, it's not just clones, it's the Wookiees, everything, can all spend his surge tokens, so, and he's going to be right next to enemies anyways, so he won't gain a suppression token off of that. So I feel like this one is definitely a round one play if you are playing Anakin. I do think Anakin is a decent commander. He, uh, especially with the whole lightsaber, especially in the current meta with the uh, Wookiees running about everywhere. 
But like I said, the three pip, I think that one is probably my favorite. And then maybe the one pip is the next. And I underestimate my power. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing special. And with the errata, I'm pretty sure this one, I guess, it's a little bit better. It gives him defend one, I believe. Which means that when he's issued an order, he gains a dodge token. Uh, and then he does come with a bunch of cards. Because I've been actually finally wanting a copy of Force Barrier in person. Uh, he comes with Offensive Stance, which is a training slot. And it's at the start of your activation. And you flip this card. Because it's offensive and defensive, because it's a flip of card. When you perform an aim in action, you gain two aims. And you cannot spend dodge tokens. And then defensive stance is pretty much the opposite. While you perform a dodge ac action, you gain two dodge tokens instead of <clears throat> one. And you cannot spend aims. So you can either get two dodges when you dodge or two aims when you aim. And whenever you do one of those, you can't spend the other. So if you're in offensive stance... You're no defensive tokens, and if you're in defensive stance, no offensive tokens. You get another training, which is Seize the Initiative. It is a one-time use, and it's during the issue order steps command of the command phase. Issue an order to yourself, which I think is really good on Anakin, especially in the clone army, uh, because that means if you run that on him, and you're running all three of his command cards, and they have this... But you're at least most likely going to have, if they don't play this, you're going to have four orders for sure on Anakin. With C's and his three command cards. Force Barrier. This is pretty much a staple on Obi-Wan. As an exhaustible, while another friendly trooper unit at range 1 is defending against a branch attack during the modified dice step, cancel either one crit result or up to two hit results. And it's a force upgrade. Yeah, this one it is pretty much staple to Obi-Wan. Since Obi-Wan is like the defensive master and all of his command cards, it makes... Now, I mean, you're getting weight of two wounds. You're getting two extra wounds. And with Master of the Force on Obi-Wan, you're giving... So you can play this, exhaust this six times. That's 12 wounds, 12 extra wounds for your clone army. Uh, oh, there's Anger. I forgot about Anger and Fear. Here's your three dark side cards that he can use right now. Anger is after you suffer one of your wounds, you gain an aim. You don't really want your Anakin taking wounds. I mean, he's six health, but that's more of a Palpatine card. Fear, uh, you gain Demoralize one. After a rally step, enemy units at range one to two gain one suppression token. Uh, the Fear card... Demoralize one, it's, I would almost only ever run it if you have, like, you're never going to have that in Republic, but, because everything's so expensive. Like, if you just have three points that you need to spend somewhere, uh, then I'll put the fear. And then Force Choke uh, is an extremely good card, especially with Master of the Force, because if you're next to, like, a heavy unit, you can just Force Choke the Z6 instead of trying to kill it. Since the Z6 dies last, so you can just kill that. Or like uh, the T21B or the CM93 or the RT97C. Just any of like the heavy units. Just kill it real quick so you don't have to deal with it. And that is a look at the Anakin Skywalker expansion for the Republic. I He's kind of a middle brood in terms of like commander. Because... I would say definitely pick him up just because it is Anakin and you do get some good cards with him and I mean he does play good with the Republic especially with the uh, Exemplar pretty much buff it's kind of a buff because the clones and then uh, he's melee unit so he's good at blocking off the melee but yeah overall I think he is a good purchase for the Republic and he does need a little bit of tweaking. I think his flow card could get rid of, getting rid of, yeah. be getting rid of, especially since he already has three negatives on his command cards, or get rid of the negative on his command cards. Either, I feel like that 
if you get rid of either those or his flaw card, Anakin would probably be one of the best units in the game. Because it does take him a while to get extremely good because you have to play his cards to get him, like, Reliable 2 and Exemplar and Master of the Force and Defend and Surge to Crit. But by the end of turn 3, if you play all 3, he's a powerhouse. So, if you like the little video, please leave a live. Please live a live. Yeah, please live. Thank you. But please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments. And I'll see you next time.